Okay, so um, this is my capstone project, and yeah, let's let's review the year. Okay, uh, Lab Zero learned how to crop photos using Adobe Photoshop. Um, this led to some really blurry, awful photos, but it, it got me the required marks, so they're fine. Uh, lab one, I learned how to adjust color levels in photos, which led to some nicer lit photos, but also some really uh, gross-looking, overblown, deep-fried photos. Yeah, that's not good. Um, lab two, learned how to use a spot healing tool to eliminate unsightly blemishes. That's a little pretentious, but okay. Um, basically, I also learned how to use the quick selection tool in lab three to cut myself out from photos and put myself on a background. So, like, I put myself in outer space. Woo, look at me. I'm just floating. This is incredible. Science, the future is now. Uh, yeah. Um, lab four. Yeah, lab four, I used the selection tool to make a collage of myself. Um, it looks pretty stupid, but, uh. Yeah, no, I like the collage. I'm pretty proud of it. I did print it the wrong size, so there's that, but oh well. And then in lab 5, I used the selection tool again to make myself look like a giant against two backgrounds. Those will pop up on screen, maybe. I don't know. Depends if I feel like it. Okay, yeah, that, that was unit 1. That was all Photoshop. Cool. Okay, uh, unit 2, animate. Uh, so we started off, I created some shape tweens in Adobe Animate, and that basically just means I can make shapes move across the screen and transform and stuff, change color. Uh, so I did. Uh, there, there's some here. Whoa, look at them go. They're so, they're so cool. Uh, yeah. Then in Lab 7, I made motion tweens, which means I can make random images from, like, the internet or whatever. Basically, move however I want. So I made some, uh, pr some pretty cool aircrafts. Zoom along. They're they're uh, they're pretty spiffy. They're swell. They're dandy. Okay, lab eight. I combined them. We we didn't really do anything new in lab eight. We just sort of used those previous two as a jumping off point. Uh, lab nine created a plot for my lab ten animation to follow. So really, this was wasn't really an animated lab. I guess it was more just a planning lab. Hmm. Uh, lab 10, I made my infamous uh, Alex the Camel the animation, which I later put sound over. But now it's just a really weird... Uh, yeah, it's just a bizarre, loose interpretation of Alex the Camel in visual form. Unit 3, audio and video. So basically, in uh, the first four labs, 11 to 14 of Unit 3, uh, we just added uh, audio and yeah, music, sound effects, voiceovers, whatever, to... Um, our previous labs for the animate unit, and uh, we just uh, mashed them all together to make something different using Adobe Premiere. And so in lab 11, I added music to my first animate video. Uh, so, yeah, you can just hear that now. That's enough of that. Lab 12, I added sound effects to that plane video, which definitely doesn't get annoying after hearing it all the time, trying to put it together. That's that's a process I thoroughly enjoyed. And then in Lab 13, I added both to a video. So again, just one of those building off what you know video, uh, labs. Uh, lab 14, I added both as well as a voiceover to create this monstrosity of an Alice the Camel rendition. Uh, not very good. Lab 15, Russ Schumlich and I partnered up with each other to make Lab 15 because it was the uh, green screen project and there was a lot to do. And in this one, um, I basically became a blue blue giant and attacked a castle with laser beams and impressive stool drumming skills. Yeah, Lab 16, probably my favorite lab I've done so far. I partnered with Russ again to create a public service announcement on why you shouldn't use vulgar, disgusting language. This one was just fun to do. Yeah. Okay, the uh, CM career I researched was the broadcast journalist. Broadcast journalists present information in a balanced, accurate, and interesting way through news bulletins, documentaries, and other factual programs. They must be proficient editors and presenters. They generate story ideas, pitch them to commissioners, find the resources to make that program, prepare on-air material for the program, and then edit the program for distribution. The class isn't very organized schedule-wise, which is good for project flexibility, but bad for motivating people who need to be working all the time. Or, or maybe that's just me, and I'm not a very motivated person in general. 
But I, I keep it how it is, though, because I feel like this uh, organizational structure really suits the class's needs better than most other organizational structures do. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Lynch remarks personally with the student present, which uh, it can be hard to do if he's not around or if there's like a lot of people who need to be marked at once. But I think it's also a really good sh way to show the student what went right and what could be better in a more hands-on way rather than just getting a sheet back. The journal system is where we fill in a template every Friday on the computers and hand it in backwards in Duotain because it's easier to mark that way, I guess. Uh, we do this to give Mr. Lundrum feedback on how the class is going. That's a pro, but a con is that it gets in the way of work and is kind of tedious and annoying to do, but really it's not that bad. Taking this class is fun, and it helps you learn cool skills, but if you don't do all your work in class, then it can sort of be a bother to get things done, because like lots of it, you can only finish it in the computer lab after school, and it's also less fun if you miss the first week and have absolutely no idea what's going on when you get there like I did. That's more of a personal gripe, so yeah. And then for this project, all I needed was the soft, uh, softball, no, snowball mic, uh, the computer, and that's all my hardware, and then Photoshop, Animate, Premiere, Audition, Audacity, Word, YouTube, and Google. That's all the software I needed for this. Cool. The end. Yeah. Peace out.